What is up? What is up? What is up, everybody? This is your boy, Is Nefarious here, and I am here for another edition of your favorite series. Here we go, following the Pittsburgh Steelers of the Premier Madden League, and we are actually at the end of the season. Um, last video I posted was against Cookie Boy. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the other recordings. And, you know, we're just going to wrap up the season, um, go through the stats of our last four games. Uh, when we left off, we, we had to win out to make the playoffs. So we'll see if we did that. Uh, we're going to go through our uh, statistics throughout the season, um, go through player stats, go through each game that we missed. Um, and then also, we'll get a little bit of, bit of a preview of uh, the plan for next season. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump into it and see what we're dealing with this week. Alright, so here we are, and as you can see, we do not have a game this week. Uh, it is a playoff for uh, the wildcard round. We don't have a game, and we don't have a game in the divisional round. We did not make the playoffs. We are left out of the playoffs. We got a, a guy returning from injury a little too late. It really doesn't matter at this point. Um, you know, let's jump into the games, and I'm, I'll show you exactly how it unfolded. All right, so here we are with the schedule, and as you know, we uh, the last game the game you watched was the Texans versus the Steelers. We came out with the win, 52 to 34. Uh, then we played the Giants the next week and this final was 27 to 20 um some big turnovers late in the game from uh jt daniels just take a look uh he had the offensive total yards 334 to 332 so it was a really close game we had the rushing yards he had the passing yards uh we had the first downs total yards gained turnovers we had five uh he had three so he was plus two in turnovers and he won by seven so just keep that in mind um you know those turnovers definitely hurt uh, we had two touchdowns in the red zone, one of the turnovers being in the red zone, and it actually turned from six from us to six for him. So um, that was a huge play. He had time of possession, uh, no penalty yards from us. Uh, taking a look, uh, JT Daniels had an okay game, 257 yards, uh, two touchdowns, three interceptions. Um, he was 18 for 25, a pretty okay game. He had a fumble. Um, I think he, he might have even had two. Uh, Daniel Jones, 252 yards, one touchdown, one interception, had a solid game himself. Um, you know, taking a look at the Russian, Najee Harris had 19 carries for 102 yards. He had no fumbles. Uh, we had two fumbles from Daniel Jones. We had one fumble from JT Daniels, and that fumble was actually on the game tying drive as we were moving downfield. We were on the plus side of their 50. Um, and it was a it was a big fumble he covered everything up we tried to gain a few yards uh by running up the middle um his uh defensive tackle or defensive end made a great play uh forced the fumble and that was the the key to the game right there uh gave him the ball back he was able to kill the clock after that uh taking a look at the receiving uh, receiving chase claypool at six for 86 with one touchdown Kadarius tony had uh five for 86 george pickens got involved two for 59 um, we also got uh, three catches from Larry Cooper, who also had a touchdown. So it was uh, it was an okay game. Um, we didn't throw the ball that much, which we didn't want to. Taking a look at the defense, we had eight tackles. Uh, one tackle for loss there, uh, one from TJ Watt. Uh, we also, I think, got a, we might have got a sack. Actually, we didn't, we didn't even get a sack. He got three sacks, one of them being that forced fumble. And I think it was actually Kayvon Thibodeau, the rookie that got the forced fumble. Yeah, so the rookie got the sack and the forced fumble. So a huge play by him. Uh, first overall pick, making a huge play in the game. Uh, taking a look at interceptions, he had two from Bradbury, one from Keon Crossan. And Bradley Roby had one for us. And uh, Keon, uh, Brad, uh, James Bradbury had the touchdown on a red zone pick. So... Um, we lost this game. This pretty much sailed the division. Um, we didn't have the tiebreaker, so we wouldn't need the Ravens to lose two. The Ravens ended up finishing the season losing just one. So let's take a look at um, the next game, and let's go over uh, what happened there. All right, so here we are. We took on the Bengals. We lost 37-27. to Taking a look at the offensive total yards, 325. Offensive rush yard, rush yards, 73. He led in that. He led in passing yards, first downs. He, he led in mostly everything. Um, we had four turnovers to one. Uh, this game, JT Daniels was definitely a real bad in this game. Uh, red zone percentage, we were 100%. We had three red zone TDs. He was 85%. Uh, no penalty yards. He had time of possession. Uh, JT Daniels was really, really bad in this game. Uh, he did get three touchdowns. He finished uh, 19 of 30 uh, for 269 yards, three touchdowns, four interceptions. Now, when I say bad, 
um, you could say you know the user had bad reads or stuff like that this game I put less on myself more on JT Daniels because it was open reads it's just he sailed a lot of passes this is one of the games where JT Daniels putting the ball in the air really really hurt us um, he had four interceptions I would say three of the four were probably on him and uh, you know him sailing a pass that you know the guy was wide open but he sails the pass so um, definitely, uh, definitely noticeable there. We only ran it six, uh, 14 times uh, with Najee. He had 14 for 56. Definitely got away from the run. Uh, didn't run enough. I think, yeah, we had three rushes from uh, Callum Balaj as well. Uh, we were able to corral Joe Mixon pretty much. 20 uh, carries for 67 yards. We also had one touchdown from Najee Harris. Take a look at the receiving. Cole Turner, the rookie, had eight catches for 113 and three touchdowns. Amari Cooper, three for 104 and a touchdown. Uh, Joe Mixon, seven for 74 and a touchdown. And then you had Claypool, who had five for 67. Uh, George Pickens had five for 47. So we got receivers involved in this game. Taking a look at the defense. Uh, we had 12 tackles from Devin Bush, so a really good game from him. Uh, four tackles for loss. Uh, Jordan Davis got two tackles from law, for loss himself. Uh, we also, did we get a sack this game? We got one from TJ Watt, so a good game by him. Uh, just getting on the board. Justin Lane had an interception. He had uh, one from Logan Wilson, one from Daxton Hill, and uh, he had two from uh, Jesse Bates, his free safety. Um, I think, did he have a touchdown on any of them? No, he didn't get any defensive touchdowns, but... You know, all in all, uh, I, I put this game on JT Daniels. Also on myself, not having a better game plan and uh, sticking with the run. Uh, we kind of got away right from the run real early. Um, you know, kind of the mindset we were in probably wasn't the best. Um, you know, after losing that game against the Giants and knowing our season would need a lot to go right for us to make the playoffs. We kind of entered that, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, we built for next year type of mentality. And we were airing the ball out a little too much in this game. And it, and it hurt us because, you know, JT Daniels isn't ready to air the ball out. Um, but we lost this game, so dropped two straight. Uh, then we jump into another game uh, where we took on... Who do we take on next? We took on the Bengals, then we played the Saints. And this game was... Um, I would say pretty easy, uh, pretty uh, sure-handed victory. Um, he led in rush yards, we led in pass yards. Uh, we were up big early um, and stood up. Um, five turnovers for him, one turnover for us. So definitely a better game. I think JT Daniels finished one for one. He had time of possession, but we got our touchdowns off and interceptions and stuff like that. Uh, take a look at JT Daniels. He was 12 of 18. So more of the game we want him to play. 249 yards, one touchdown, one interception. He was sacked four times, 66% uh, percentage on the completion. Uh, Spencer Rattler had 247 and five interceptions. So uh, you could tell how this game was going. Uh, the rookie Chris Rodriguez had 22 for 99, uh, two touchdowns. He definitely wanted to get him involved, even down big. Uh, Najee Harris, 10 for 93, 9.3 yards of carry, two touchdowns. We also got Justice Hill, who he signed for this game, just to add a more elusive back he went five for 34 6.8 yards of carry um definitely showed uh showed up and showed that he could run the ball for us um taking a look at the receiving you had curtis samuel go off six for 156 wasn't able to find the end zone but he was getting loose in the secondary uh multiple times uh amari cooper two for 86 and a touchdown so a really solid game from him chase claypool's three for 70. uh we also had two for 38 for sam laporte vincent smith had one for 30. uh he started to get involved in this week and it, it continued uh as we move forward uh Najee harris one for five george pickens one for five so george pickens didn't have a good game in this one uh taking a look at the tackles uh jeremiah moon uh started getting more playing time because we lost uh tj watt so is jeremiah moon more involved uh, taking a look at the tackles for loss, we had four from, uh, we had three from Stefan to it. Uh, we also had one from TJ Watt. So TJ Watt, I don't know, maybe he got injured, injured within this game. I'm trying to, actually no, we had uh, Samson Ubakum, which we released him to give the rookie more love because we knew we were out of playoffs. So we released him and he was taking up a lot of cap space. So we brought in, uh, we put Jeremiah Moon into the starting lineup. So that's what happened. Uh, we had a sack from TJ Watt. We also had one from Frank Clark. And Stefan too, it didn't have a sack. I think we got a sack from somebody else. Jordan Davis got a sack and Bradley Roby. So we had four sacks in this game. Definitely got after the quarterback. Terrell Edmonds, two interceptions. 
one from Peyton Wilson, one from Bobby Price. Justin Lane also got involved with interceptions. Pete Warner had one for him. Uh, I think we had a couple touchdowns in this one. Mm -hmm. So we just had the one touchdown. Justin Lane with the, the pick six. That was a one touchdown, but a, a really solid game from our defense. Set us up in short field, set us up in good positions. We were able to capitalize. And this game was over before it even started. Um, he got well, seven early, then we went, went up 17. Um, in the second, it was 17-7. And then in the third, it just continued. And by the fourth quarter, it was pretty much over. Uh, taking a look at the next game, we went from C uh, New Orleans Saints to the Las Vegas Raiders and our buddy Deloitte TV. Uh, Deloitte another YouTube, uh, you know, a YouTube personality like Cookie Boy. Uh, definitely way above my pay grade with uh, the amount of subscribers he has compared to me and the amount of uh, followers. Uh, taking a look, offensive yards gained on my side. We had the most passing yards. He had the most rushing yards. We didn't run the ball much. Um, we didn't, we really had a bad game plan going into this. Uh, turnovers, we had two, he had zero. Uh, third down conversions, he had uh, taking a look, uh, red zone, we were 75%. We had three red zone TDs. He had two. Uh, we had the time of possession as well. Taking a look at the uh, the stats, uh, JT Daniels, 490 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Not the worst game from him, uh, but we threw the ball 47 times. We were 34 for 47 for 72%, and his quarterback only threw 23 times. Uh, he, he has a pass-heavy type of style, too. Uh, Jaden da Daniels, the battle of the Daniels. But he had close to a perfect uh, rating. He threw for 260, 14 he's no interceptions, 82% completion percentage. Uh, taking a look at the Russian, Kareem Hunt had one big run. Uh, that's where most of his yards came. He got 68 on one run. Other than that, so he had 68. He was 8 for 19. Other than that, so we had a really solid game for Kareem Hunt besides that one run. Najee Harris, 10 for 35. Uh, we gave the ball 10 times to him. He only got 35 yards, so maybe that's what shied us away from the run. Uh, Justice Hill, 4 for 14, 3.5 yards to carry. Um, other than that, nobody else really got involved in the running game. Taking a look at the receivers, Amari Cooper, 7 for 162, one touchdown. We also had uh, 7 for 126 from Darnell Moss, the speed, sir. Uh, Vincent Smith had 5 for 97, so a really good game from him. Uh, we also had uh, Justice Hill get involved, 7 for 67, 4 for 57 for George Pickens. Uh, Chase Claypool, 7 for 55. Um, and then we had 1 for 18 for uh, Gronkowski. Nelson Aguilar got involved too, uh, 2 for 33. Uh, taking a look at the defense. All right, so taking a look at the defense, um, you know, tackles for loss. We had, do we have any? We had Frank Clark with one, Stefan Tuitt. TJ Watt also had one, so he was still involved in this game. Mika Fitzpatrick had one, Peyton Wilson, Jeremiah Moon. So we definitely got involved in the tackles for loss. Sacks, we had zero. Uh, we didn't get to the quarterback in this one. Uh, interceptions, we had zero. He had two from one for Abram and one for Mullen. Uh, very good game, very solid game from him. Uh, no forced fumbles. Did he have a defensive touchdown? Yeah, he had one from Jonathan Abram. A uh, good user by him. Uh, ended up scoring on that. Uh, so, you know, uh, we didn't play the best. Uh, we played okay, definitely could have played better. Uh, and we lost this game, but it wasn't, you know, wasn't the worst thing. We don't have a draft pick. Maybe that's the worst thing about it. But it doesn't matter if we lose at this point because we were out of the playoffs. Uh, but let's jump over to the next game uh, where we took on the Cleveland Browns, I believe. Yeah, we played the Cleveland Browns. We won this game 62-53. to uh, Definitely a high-scoring uh, back-and-forth game. Taking a look, JT Daniels, uh, 114 um, in rating, 330 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. It was a battle of rookies. He was 16 of 24 for 66% completion percentage. Uh, then you take a look at the other side, Desmond Ritter. He finished with 106, 459, six touchdowns, four interceptions. Uh, JT Daniels was taken second round, fourth overall. Uh, Desmond Ritter was taken first round, second overall. So, um, we won the game. I would say we, the QB battle went to JT Daniels as well. Um, you know, he was throwing a ball all over all over the field with uh, Desmond Ritter. It didn't really work out for him. Najee Harris had 19 for 59 with three touchdowns. Claypool, one for 35. Uh, we also had three for 11 for Callum Balazs. We pretty much, um, you know, corralled Josh Jacobs where he wasn't able to get anything. Um, he traded Josh Jacobs for Kareem Hunt. I mean, he traded Kareem Hunt for Josh Jacobs. Uh, Anthony Schwartz, the speedster, he had three for 142. One came late. He had two touchdowns. Uh, Josh Wiley, the tight end, 
uh, 8 for 108, uh, no touchdowns there. Sam Laporte, 3 for 95. Claypool, 4 for 9, 87. We also had 3 for 85 for Amari Cooper. Uh, we also had uh, Gronkowski get involved for 2 for 31. Another game where George Pickens didn't get involved much. Uh, taking a look at the defense, uh, 11 tackles for Jeremiah Moon. He had four tackles for loss, so a really good game there. He had a half a sack. He didn't get his full sack yet, uh, but we did sign Carter Coughlin, who got a sack. So that was huge for us because uh, he ended up getting a dev game. And I think we got a dev game with... I think this is the game where we got a dev game for uh, Justin Lane as well. Uh, we got a half a sack from Moon, half a sack from Jordan Davis. Um, we had a few interceptions. If we had one from... We didn't have one from him. Hmm. I know one of these games, we had a dev game for Justin Lane. Wonder, it might have been the Saints. Uh, it might have been the Saints. It actually might have been the Saints where we had the dev game. Um, but we ended up getting the dev game for Justin Lane where he became a star. Um, this game, uh, we got a sack from Carter Coughlin and it led to a dev game for next week. Um, and we actually ended up playing pretty well and we'll, we'll go through that. Um, you know, we didn't get the win, but we'll talk about the dev game. Uh, taking a look at interceptions, we had one from Wilcox, one from Minka, one from Peyton Wilson. Uh, we had one from Amon Gardner. We also had two pick sixes. Did we have any forced fumbles? We had two uh, forced fumbles. Uh, pick sixes, we had two. We had one from Minka, one from Amon Gardner. So uh, our defense was heavily involved in this game. Um, but we won that game, uh, moved to uh, 7-9, and nine, and then we played the New York Jets. And the New York Jets game was a, a solid game. Uh, you know, we kind of got a little bit of bad luck with Madden, but, you know, we, we didn't, we got to battle back and figure out a way to win. Um, you know, offensive yards gain we had, we had the rushing yard, we had the passing yards. Um, total yards gain we had, we had four turnovers, they had two. Um couple of those turnovers were some tough situations um, one was a uh, delayed uh, input from the remote as far as you you know if you run a play action and you try to hit somebody quick and they're still in the play action uh, it's delayed and then you think you didn't press it so you have to hit it again then it turns into a pump fake then it turns into a fumble set so um, that's basically what happened. We were 57% in the red zone, four red zone TDs. I think we had a couple turnovers in the red zone, time of possession he had. Uh, he was 100% in the red zone. No TDs, but he was able to get uh, some field goals. Uh, Taking a look at JT Daniels, 426, 3-3, three three, three touchdowns, three interceptions, so a solid game from him. Uh, completion percentage, 80%, 28 for 35, so we aired the ball out, and we were able to do it effectively. Taking a look at the Russian, Najee Harris, 17 for 144. We also... Um, Got Callum Balazs involved three for seven. He had the one touchdown. Uh, take a look at the receiving. Uh, Chase Claypool, two for 121, no touchdowns. Uh, Vincent Smith, six for 113. So back-to-back -back weeks where he got, was heavily involved. And he could be heavily involved to come next season. This is kind of, this was a showing out party. And he, he did a good job. Amari Cooper sat this game. Uh, Corey Davis had seven for 82. He got his running back involved. Sam Laporte, five for 44. Um, take a look at Najee Harris, two for 35, two for 30, two, uh, six for 34 for George Pickens. Uh, Gronkowski, three for 22. So, um... You know, uh, a solid game from the receivers. Taking a look at the defense, we had Devin Bush had 10 tackles, one tackle for loss. Taking a look at the tackles for loss, Carter Coughlin had three. He needed one for his dev game. He got three, so a really good game from him. He didn't get a sack, though. Amon Garner got two himself. Tavondre Sweat was involved. Uh, sacks, we got no sacks. He ended up having two. Interceptions, he had uh, two from Kyle Hamilton, one from Derek Stingley. So his two rookies got involved. Amon Garner had one himself, so did Minka Fitzpatrick. Taking a look at the um, touchdowns, I think he I think he had a defensive touchdown. Yeah, he had one from Carl Lawson. That was a fumble recovery for six. That was the uh, the lead input I, I just mentioned. So we finish out the season eight and nine. You know, not the best of seasons, uh, but let's take a look at some of the stats and go over you know a season review for each one of our players. All right, so here we are with the season review. We don't have Jared Goff anymore, but his stats are missing. So we're just going to talk about JT Daniels, 4,000 yards as a rookie, 260 for 352 for a 73% completion percentage, averaged about 272 yards a game, uh, 106 rating, uh, 30 touchdowns, 29 interceptions. Really solid season from a rookie. 
we didn't put him in a lot of position uh, a lot of positions to hurt himself um you know he did his job when he came in um handed the ball off to nazi and made the throws we needed him to make so really solid season we're really happy with the way he played uh Najee harris great season top form russian um actually let's let's go from the nfl view so you can kind of see where they finished uh passing we're pretty much down there uh very uh, you know a lot of yardage in this league uh, it must be a, the 18 game season uh so 4090 um he was pretty pretty far down there but a really solid season from jt daniels now the russian like i said top four top five he finished number four with 1705 rushing uh rushing yards uh 288 carries he averaged 5.9 yards a carry and had 23 23 tds um, I wonder where he finished there. He actually finished tied for uh, actually in third place um, They're tied for first so that would put him in third um, Really solid season um, Had two uh, fumbles Kellen Mon had 16 um, these quarterbacks had a lot of fumbles uh, But you know, yeah bes Besides the two fumbles, which isn't the end of the world, you know, a really really good season from uh, Najee Harris um, He wasn't involved too much in the passing game. So we're not worried about that taking a look at the passing game though uh, we did have a few guys up there. Uh, we had Amari Cooper and Chase Claypool, who actually pretty much finished the same. Uh, both are over 1,300 yards. Uh, 73 catches for Amari, 71 for Claypool. Uh, 12 TDs for Amari, 10 for Claypool. I mean, they did their job. Um, and Claypool played, 16, uh, Claypool played 16 games. It says Amari played 17, but I had him sit one game, so that's kind of odd. I didn't have Claypool sit any games. Um, let's jump over to, you know, our team on this one. Um, just so we could see Gronkowski, who finished with 42 and 6, uh, 624, 5 TDs. George Pickens, 42, 501. Um, not the greatest season, but, you know, he got involved as a rookie. Uh, you know, when you got a team like this with Amari Cooper, Chase Claypool, and you run a lot of, uh, 21, uh, 12 personnel, you, you don't really get three wide receiver sets, so... For him to get involved when he was on the field is great. Uh, Taking a look at Najee Harris, he had two, uh, 253 on 24 carry, uh, 24 catches, 27 catches for Sam Laporte, 405. Remember, we had that switch late in the season. Even though Rob Rob Kowski was our better uh, receiving tight end, uh, Sam Laporte was just a better blocker. Uh, Vincent Smith in the little time that he had, 13 catches, uh, 250 yards. Uh, definitely could see a lot more of him come next season if we don't uh, bring in anybody else or if we move Amari Cooper. So that could definitely be a uh, a situation. Taking a look at the sacks uh, on the offensive line, we don't really trust that stack, so we're going to ignore it. Uh, 104 for Devin Bush. I wonder where that finished in the league. 122, so he's actually pretty much down there. Um, so he's down there in the league, so we won't look at that uh, 104 for Devin Bush Terrell Edmonds had 99 99 for Minka uh, Peyton Wilson 54 uh, and you got to think he's off the field in uh, nickel situations uh, tackles for loss 15 for TJ Watt 12 for Devin Bush I wonder where that put him in the league uh, yeah 32 from Chris Jones 26 25 24 a lot of tackles for loss um, go back over to the Steelers Sacks. I think our sack leader was uh, T.J. Watt with eight, which is a lot better than last season because I think last season he might have had two sacks at most. Uh, Jordan Davis had three and a half for a nose tackle. I'll take it. For a nose tackle, really solid. Um, three sacks for Frank Clark. Uh, Damon Arnett had two. Devin Bush got involved. Carter Coughlin in the last two, three games he played, he got a sack. Uh, interceptions, Bradley Roby was number one with Minka, Terrell Edmonds, uh, Devin Bush, Payne Wilson. Um, Amon Garner, the rookie, finished with three interceptions. He was injured. Um, how long did he sit? So he played 13 games, so he was out for four games. He had a defensive touchdown. We had three for Minka. Uh, we did, had no safeties. Did we have a fumble recovery? I think we had a few. Yeah, two from Devin Bush, one for Terrell. Andrew Brown got one. Uh, we also had one from Peyton Wilson, Amon Garner. So uh, a bunch of people got involved. Um, you know, pretty solid defense all in all from the uh, pretty solid season from the defense all in all. Uh, TJ Watt went down for us uh, down the stretch. We also lost uh, Cameron Hayward down the stretch. Stefan Tuitt went down once again. Uh, we we dealt with a lot of injuries. And Amon Garner was down, as you know. We dealt with a lot of injuries, and we had to over try to overcome it. We didn't overcome that. 
um, unfortunately. But we move on to next season. Um, hopefully, next season's a little better. Uh, but that's pretty much going to do it for us. Uh, you know, hopefully you enjoyed the content. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we will see you next season for season three in the Premier Madden League.